Okay, y'all, so this is the look that I'm doing today. Oh, and it's Stacey Joanna, hi. All right, so we're gonna start off with the brows, and I'm just using my spoolie that I got from Ulta. I'm pretty sure it's a it cosmetics brush. And here I'm using my MAC pencil, eyebrow pencil in the color Spike. We're just outlining those brows so we could go ahead and fill them in. Quite simple. If not, let me know. I'll do a more detailed tutorial for you guys. I'm jamming here. I don't know what I was listening to, guys. I may have been listening to some gospel. I was listening to compa. I'm Haitian. So I don't know what I was listening to, but I was jamming, y'all. I was jamming. Now I'm moving on to cleaning my brows and I'm pretty sure I was just cleaning it up with LA Girl and the color Toffee. And I use the color Toffee because it's pretty close to my skin color. So that's pretty much what I use because I don't really like a really, really highlighted brow unless I'm going somewhere and I really need to be snatched, y'all. But other than that, I usually use Toffee and I blend that into my lid too. Checking if them brows on fleek and they was aight. <laughs> so now we now I'm using the lay and low um, paint pot from MAC and I'm putting it all over my lid and then I'll be following in with the infamous Laura Mercier powder just to set the um, cream base. And I'm using the Morphe brush. I forget what it's called, but it's supposed to be like a buffer brush. And I actually have two of them. They're awesome guys. So um, that's what I use now we're going in with the crease color and it was just like a light brown I'm sorry this time. I like failed to show the palettes and um, You know to say the colors, but if you guys really 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 want to know just let me know down in um, Just let me know down in the comment section and I will go up and put the colors I will do that for you guys, but yeah, so now we just going in with a brown color and um, I'm just building it up to the intensity that I want you know using wind wipe wind wipe wind windshield wiper I don't know windshield wiper motions <laughs> now I'm going in with a darker brown and once again just to deepen up the crease so we can get you know some control a little bit of control with them lids Once again, I'm jamming. Now I'm going in with the color brick. I'm pretty sure this is the color brick because this is bay. I always use brick. Like I feel like I'm so faithful with brick. So this is the brick color and from the color um, from the palette Juvia's Place. So that's what that is. And I'm pretty sure it's a masquerade palette. If not the Saharian one, Saharian one. If not, once again, if y'all really want to know, I will put that in the description box. Now I'm going in with a black once again just to define it a little bit more because we will be moving into a sign of, a sort of kind of cut crease. So just to deepen it up real good, see with some nice dimensions and a nice little smoky look. Not something real, real dark because you know black could lose control, but you know, just a little bit in there. And then I went with a fluffy brush. This, bl this brush is actually clean. As you can see, I'm pretty much just diffusing that black out with the other colors and mixing it in together. Blending them in together is the correct terminology. Now I'm just cutting the crease and I'm using, I'm pretty sure I'm using toffee once more. I'm using toffee to just cut the crease. And that's just where we're going to be applying our lip color. I do that to both eyes. Duh. <laughs> I 
and did it to the other eye. I did it the same way I did it on the previous eye, which is why I kind of just like cut to the chase and just did the perfection with you guys. Now I'm using the Masquerade palette. Again, I don't know what color it is off the top of my dome, but if you want to know, let me know. I'll tell you guys in the in the description box. But yeah, I'm just putting this like nice metallic gold on my lid and it's like really gold. It's really nice. I didn't think it was gonna, this is my first time using it. I didn't think it was gonna come out like that, y'all. It's popping, so that's what we are doing with the lids. And I did go back in a little bit with the black. I didn't put no more black on the brush. I just literally picked up the a brush that I had the black on previously and just went back in with it and then used the big brush to um, blend it out real good. At this point, I'm using a lighter color that is also in the Masquerade palette. And I just used that on the inner parts of my lid and, you know, went back in with the darker gold to clean it up. And now I'm just using a wipe because, you know, it has a little bit of fallout just so it don't be sitting under my foundation or, you know, doing whatever I want to do. Just clean that up real good. I like to make sure my foundation is blended. So I do a lot of back and forth. And, I mean, y'all going to get to know me real good. So now we're moving on to the face. And I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is not the mattifying one. This is actually like the smoothing skin one and now we're using LA girl once again in toffee and it's just on the little dark marks under the eye just to kind of get the skin looking unison but you know and then one of my faves the Too Faced born this way and it's in the color maple and this brush is actually from the beauty supply I got it for maybe like what I don't know five dollars or something like that and it's bomb like I bought it I was like oh everybody's using those artiste brushes and Mm, I don't got no time for no artiste brushes, but I'm going to give this a go, and I did, and I like it, so it's really good. And I um, I kind of want to go on back and get the little one. They have one for concealer. Like, it's really good, guys. I don't know if y'all got a beauty supply next to y'all or if your beauty supply carry these, but they're really good. And they should because um, the first time I saw them, I was in Florida, and I actually got this here at home in California. So check them out. Oh, and the little, um, what is it? What is this called? I be having a brain fart, guys. All right, anyways, so now we're going in with the LA Girl concealer again, but this is not toffee. This is in warm honey, warm honey, warm caramel. I'm pretty sure it's warm honey. My bad. It's warm honey, and I love this. I love this color as my highlighter. It's not. I don't feel like it's too too bright. I feel like it's just perfect to give me the right amount of highlight that I need. So I did go in with the tart because I love tart so much and it was a little bit lighter than the warm honey. So just add a little touch of, you know, of a lighter color. Blend that out with the handy dandy beauty blender. And I do go back in with my foundation brush, and I actually got this from Princess Bella. And just uh, I just saw her doing it one day, and I was like, yo, that's really smart. Because sometimes when you finish highlighting and contouring, you be having those demarcation lines looking crazy. So I was like, that's a great idea. So I actually did pick up that tip from Princess Bella. Shout out to her. She's bomb.com. So, um, yeah, just go back in with the foundation brush just to, you know, once again, make it mesh all together. Make it, you know, blend it all together. Like, no line of demarcation. Yeah, we got the highlight and the contour going on, but you don't know where it begin and end. Like, we just slaying, looking good. And then I believe this one is in Dark Cocoa. I know these colors, y'all, because I've been using these for a minute. For a minute. I actually am not too much of a fan of cream contour. I usually just powder contour but I felt like you know what why not just go all the way glam why not just go all the way glam do it all the way go hard or go home so I did that with the dark cocoa and then it was playing games y'all it was like well I'm gonna run out I was like yo not today not right now <laughs> and I'm using this brush that I got from Marshall and it's actually a contour brush and I got it from Marshall's and the first time I used it I was like okay I don't like this I don't like this but I did end up liking it so that's why I'm using it. And the headband trick, y'all, makeup Shayla all the way. I know everybody know makeup Shayla not doing no makeup without her headband. And I will 
I confess I am the one to do makeup without the headband and have makeup all in my edges but I was like you know let me do a little bit of makeup Shayla tricks I was you know using tricks from a whole bunch of famous youtubers and I love them I watch them all the time so um, I do got a little tricks from a lot of people so yeah that's makeup Shayla right there with the headband <laughs> shout out to her clean edges yay <laughs> I have a habit sometimes of like over blending guys because I like I I prefer I feel like I prefer to over blend than under blend so I do have a habit of like over blending sometimes so I do you like I do have a lot of I do like how you say like I have a lot of back and forth like I do go back and forth a lot trying to correct my over blending so that I don't lose my contour and stuff and I am highlighting or setting my highlight rather with the Laura Mercier right under the eyes everywhere that I highlighted with the warm honey I'm going right over it with the Laura Mercier and I do reverse highlight just like I reverse highlight with the cream I reverse highlight with the um, powder as well this is the MAC mineralize powder and dark tan and I just go pretty much all over everywhere I contour now that first layer I put was to set it this is doing just a little bit of baking and the reverse contour Contour. Contour. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself, y'all. I was chatting it up with my sister. Y'all gonna meet her someday soon. And now I'm going in with my Tarte bronzer in the color Hotel Harris. Like, I love this bronzer. Love this bronzer. Like, I feel like I can't even live without this bronzer. I love it. I love it. And I don't know if it's just me or does it smell like chocolate. I feel like it's more like chocolate. And it's I know, like I know the one that's supposed to smell like chocolate, the chocolate soleil, but this one smells like chocolate to me too. I don't know. Maybe I was hungry. I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm blending it in with a brush. I didn't have anything on there. And once more, just like I do with my beauty blender, just I just don't want any lines of demarcation. So I go in and I blend like crazy. Blend, blend with the beauty blender. Blend, blend with the brush. Be blending, blending. And now we're doing the under eye. All the colors that I put in the crease, I'm putting them under the eye. Every single color that I put under the crease, the light brown, the darker brown, um, like the brick color, everything I put under the crease, I'm putting it under the eye. So that's what I'm doing. And here, just the color I put on the lid, I left the inner corners of the under eye for the color that I put on the lid. I changed camera guys because my camera was acting silly so I went ahead and got on a different camera which I actually think maybe you guys will like better I kind of liked it better I don't know let me know give me some tips tips and tricks on you know how to make things better how to get better quality and things like that but I'm using a pretty good camera and I just changed camera too but I thought this one was really good let me know if I should just continue using this one or if I like the other one better let me know now I'm using the Amore Us a liquid lip liner from the beauty supply it's like two or three dollars it is amazing and I like it so much guys you guys gotta go get it like it's sturdy like I said the first time it's sturdy it gets the job done and quick it's funny how when I'm doing my my eyeliner I'm not dancing because don't nobody want to mess up on the eyeliner but as soon as I stop for a minute I'm jamming don't nobody know what I was jamming to I don't even know what I was jamming to but ain't that something we scared to mess up our eyeliner. This eyeliner makes applying eyeliner so easy, guys. So, so easy. 
All right, now I'm using the e.l.f. two-sided. Um, it's the eyelash and eyebrow, and I'm using the eyebrow gel just to keep these on, or just to get these unruly brows in check, get them together. And now I'm just using a black um, eyeshadow, because I wanted to put a little bit of black on there, so I just used a black eyeshadow, and now I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara to get those eyelashes together gather themselves get them together brushing everything away with just a clean brush and I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go over everything once more all right this is Mac old darling highlighter and that's what I'm gonna be highlighting my cheekbones my eyebrow bones um, right above my arch on my brow my chin my cupid's bow my nose everything All right, now we're using the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray, I'm pretty sure it's called. And it's pretty much a spray to make you look glowy. And I and I do have oily skin, but I feel like if you get your base on real good, like you're, you use a good um, primer and everything, you can get away with it. And I really love how it makes me glow. Especially if you're not doing no all day type makeup if you have oily skin. Like if you're trying to just you know get the look for a couple hours you'll get away with it i sure did so in oily skin to the max team oily skin over here and this is mac and night moth this is bae use it all the time i'm scared that she's gonna run out but i know mac is always gonna have her <laughs> she's a normal she's a regular so yeah we're just putting we're just lining the lips with that and bringing them into the lips a little bit more like closer to the center of the lips but we're leaving the center bare for the main gal which is this red color from Milani I think it's adorable I think it's adorable from Milani and I'm just putting that all over the lip even over the lip liner I just kind of wanted it to darken my edges a little bit to get that you know dark light ombre effect so that is that Went back in with the pencil just to darken that up a little bit. Because Milani kind of took away my ombre look. And I wanted that. I was feeling myself, y'all. I was feeling myself. I was like, ow, ow, ow. Ow. <laughs> y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. It was fun filming it for you guys. And I'm looking forward to film more for you guys. But... Go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, all the do. Stay tuned, get to know me, and enjoy the slow moans. I enjoyed doing the look for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yes, your girl is Team Natural, so I had to go ahead and do something with the her. I couldn't be doing slow moans with my top ponytail. Anyways, y'all, I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all so much. Bye.